An entire ward of this city, the ninth ward, appears to be to its rooftops in water. Buildings have collapsed. There are reports from New Orleans of uh, people trapped in buildings that have come down around them. They have there was such silence and death. Our home. <laughs> A pretty apartment with antique furniture and Barney movies and riding toys and fire hats for my daughter. It's gone and it's not coming back. There was just such unbelievable helplessness and hopelessness. I mean, I saw dead bodies chained to stop sign posts. You know, dead bodies under layers of sheetrock. It's kind of fascinating because even though it's been 15 years, we still have people that are just coming home. The worst of the storm has now reached New Orleans. The immediate situation is with each passing hour, the situation gets more dire. These are people who did not have the wherewithal to get out of town. They didn't have cars. There's no way they could pay for a hotel room. They stayed in their houses. After Hurricane Katrina, many mental health providers left the region and never returned. I can say that even before Katrina, uh, we were very, very limited in services. After Katrina, we were wiped clean. So there's been a huge, huge need for better assessment, better diagnostic, and better uh, therapeutic interventions in our city that we just have never had. The Chicago School of Professional Psychology at Zulu is the only clinical PsyD program in the region, the only clinical PsyD program in the nation at a historically by a college and university. My name is Chanel Baptiste. I am an advanced practicum student. I am in my fifth year of my program. This is one of the sites where I am completing the advanced practicum. So I am responsible for doing therapy with students as well as conducting assessments. The goal of the program was really to address the shortage of mental health professionals in the New Orleans area, but also in the state of Louisiana. People who are interested in studying psychology have generally needed to either leave the state. So my name's Reed Cumberland. I'm a native of New Orleans, and I'm a fifth year doctorate student at the Chicago School of Professional Psychology at Xavier University. Various factors played into the decision with Hurricane Katrina kind of uh, escalating the uh, decision to move more into mental health. The reason I wanted to become a clinical psychologist was the need in the community. The idea is that we are somewhat like a garden, so that if we grow psychologists here, then they will stay in the community and that they will go on to become site supervisors, potentially go on to become faculty here, uh, providing services to the community. We're core value driven as well, right? And it's important to us that we have partners that also have the same core values. And so it's really easy for us to partner with the Chicago School because it provides the same type of outcome for minority and underserved populations. It's a fantastic partnership. Our students get all the benefits of the Chicago School of Professional Psychology and all the benefits from Xavier University as well. Our program was recently accredited by the American Psychological Association, which is great news because it demonstrates the quality of our program. Even now, as practicum students, they are providing services in hospitals and community mental health agencies and private practices. They're working with adults and with children. They're working with adults with developmental delays. Um, they're working with elderly populations, with um, ethnic minority and marginalized populations, with sexual minority populations. So they are going out now even as students and making their contribution back to the community in a place where there's a shortage. We are not just creating like future psychologists, but future consultants, future advocates, future activists. Everybody is here for more than just the job. Me personally, I wanna help other veterans. I wanna help adults. I wanna help people who are suffering with suicidality depression, high levels of anxiety. I use that same perspective when I'm working with people, like my clients and things, is that right now it might look a little dark, it might be real cloudy outside, but we're going to work together to find the sunshine again.